So this is our wide area vacuum. And uh, you know, one of the things that I like about this vacuum here is that it's battery operated. Um, so a lot of, uh, you know, when, when you look at uh, hotels or, or other large uh, venues and they're using a, a wide area vacuum, they usually have, you know, 75 feet of cord. Well, that, uh, you know, that can cause trip and fall hazards. It's, uh, you know, uh, inhibitive. Where this right here, you have free reign to go anywhere you want and uh, you can be a lot more uh, efficient, a lot more productive. Um, this uh, unit here, when I flip it around on the back, you're going to see your control panels here. You have your on off, you have your brush, and you have your back full light uh, indicator. You also have a uh, up and down for your brush. So that way, whenever you're not using the machine, uh, you don't have to take out the brush or anything like that. You can just simply lift up on this tab and it will raise uh, the uh, deck so that way the brush doesn't get matted. Like on many uh, machines, whether it's an extractor, the brush is a nylon brush. So a quick and simple fix to that is you run you know, hot water over it and it'll make the nylon basically stretch back out uh, to uh, you know, what it's supposed to be. You'll notice that I said this was a battery operated machine and yet you know, here's a pretty long cord and cable to it. Uh, this is what you utilize to charge your machine, but it's also here because let's say you're uh, operating the machine and you're in a long hallway and you run out of battery. Well, you can actually plug this in and use it as a cord electric machine as well. Uh, so you have uh, all sorts of tools while I'm back here. You know, so you still, you just like the other vacuum, you have your wand, you know, your, you extend uh, the wand, you have your tray tool, you have your press tool, all comes standard uh, with this unit here. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, face it this way. You can go ahead and position this, you know, to uh, different levels so that it's nice and comfortable for the operator. If you needed to change out your bag, you would just disconnect here. You can release this and you don't have to take the whole machine with you. You can actually just take this whole compartment out and now you have access to um, let's say you open this up right here. You have access to replacing your bag right here. Okay, pretty nice size bag. But also cleaning out your filter. This just snaps out, snaps back in as well. And uh, we can go ahead and line this up, put this right back in place there. Put this there. Latch it back on. When we put this back in here, we're going to connect our, our, our uh, locking mechanism here so this doesn't move. Connect our hose. We're ready to go again. Um, it also has areas where you can easily carry the machine. Now, one person can do it. I did it yesterday, but it's not comfortable. So it's always advisable for two people because it does have uh, large batteries in there. It, it can get a little heavy, but you have a handle on the back and you have a handle on the front. That you would utilize to basically pick the machine up and uh, put it on the back of a truck or whatever the case may be. It's a very quiet machine. Um, as I actually, so you get a better view. Let me do this. So underneath here, you have uh, your brush, which is also easily removable, re removable on this side here. So like before. With the upright vacuum, anything in red is a touch point. So this here will allow me to take out the bearing, and then I can put my brush out. Um, one of the neat things that I like about this machine here is that it doubles as a carpet encapsulator. So, you know, if you're, uh, we did a demo at, a, at an apartment building. Uh, Don and I showed this to a resort. You know, if you're doing a, if you're cleaning a, a hallway, um, you know, you, you get your um, everyday vacuuming use out of this. But let's say every month you want to go ahead and encapsulate the carpet. You can go in there with your pump up sprayer, spray the carpet. On this machine here, the only thing that you would need to do, uh, we don't want to get any moisture into the uh, uh, vacuum area. So, and we also want a more aggressive brush. So what we would do is we would take out this brush replace it with a red brush and take out this plate here, which is your vacuum plate, right? Here's your vacuum shoe. 
and replace it with a uh, another one that's designed. Uh, it's enclosed. It's uh, waterproof, and it's designed for you to spray down and not get anything into the back of your motor. So this machine here will actually double uh, as a carpet encapsulator as well as a wide area vacuum. So I'm going to go. Yes, sir. Kathy Dibby wants to know how long the run time is on the battery charge. Yeah, I, uh, off the top of my head, I think it's 45 minutes. Um, but, you know, we'll, uh, we can double check the specs on it online uh, just, to, just to verify. But it, I'm trying to, you know, remember, and I think it's 45 minutes continuous run time. So, you know, when I go ahead and turn it on, uh, you'll see. That it's a very quiet machine, and we'll go over here on the, on the carpet here. And it's also very, very easy to maneuver. So I'm going to make sure that I got the brush down. So I just went ahead and released that. And again, you know, it's 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Okay, so my, uh, I actually it did I, uh, I said half. So it's double, double, the, double the run time of what I uh, proposed. So now, turn the machine on. See, it's a very quiet machine. There's your vacuum, your brush. So, two little levers underneath here. And now you can hear the brush moving. And this is another thing that I like about this machine here is how easy it is to just rotate. It, 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 it uh, turns on a dime. Here. Literally. No, it's, it's not quite. Uh, yep. So, Dave's going to bring out this mat here, and you know, you can uh, see that there's a little bit of debris on there. So, now this, again, true vacuum. Uh, not a sleeper, true vacuum system. Battery operated. And you can already see, you know, the, uh, the power being lifted. But also, how easy it is to kind of maneuver this in and around the carpet. Have you used that with any other encapsulation system? Uh, what do you mean by it with any other? Um, well, I guess I, well, technically you can use this with any, you know, it, it's, it's got to be an encapsulation system to spray on, because this machine here does not have the option to spray, but whatever encapsulation system you're using that you can spray onto the carpet, what this machine will do is this machine will work that encapsulation chemical into the carbon fibers. Okay, I'm talking about the absorbent compounds. Oh, like like host and stuff like that. You know, uh, that's a good question. I've asked, I don't think that this was designed for that, but I'm not certain. So I can get I can get back to you on that. I can look into that. Um, you know, I I guess I'm uh, thinking about it. I don't I don't see why not because all you're doing is you're brushing the product in with this machine, with this unit here. Um, but I think the the idea initially was, you know, with the uh, wet, yeah, with the spray, with the spray, with the wet encapsulation. Yeah. 